What's up everybody, Jcraft here today. I have optical flares for Sony Vegas, but it's not necessarily optical flares, but it's really similar to it. So we're going to drag it on there and you'll see this crappy optical flare if you want to change it. Just click on load preset. And you could see a bunch of different optical flares and lens flares and stuff like that. And let's just choose, I don't know, let's see, I like this one. And let's load that up. Okay, so now we could mess around with it. Let me show you. You could change its size. You could make it like bigger, smaller. It's pretty cool. But that's kind of too big. And you can move it around. You know, it's pretty cool. You could change its brightness. Like if you only want to make it, you know, only a little bit bright, you just could bring it down. You could also blur it, which is pretty cool. And you could rotate it to any direction you want. And it also comes with uh, TV damage, which is like a TV simulator. Sony Vegas, except it's a lot more better. And you can load the preset, one of the presets. They look pretty awesome too. Okay, you can see all these presets are all cool. But I'm just going to cancel. And it also comes with film damage, which is um, basically makes it like old film and film style, which is uh, a great alternative to Magic Built looks. I really recommend it for those who can't install Magic Built looks because their graphics card, uh, like, it doesn't work because it's a lot better. You know, you can just choose any color correction. They're all similar to Magic Built looks. They look really good. Compared to uh, color curves on Sony Vegas, it's really hard to use color curves to make a good uh, color correction. So you could just load any of these uh, color corrections and it'll load up at your preview screen. So that's pretty much it. I'm releasing it soon, depending on how many get likes I get. I'll post up an annotation and that's it. Thanks for watching.